Hey guys, I'm back for part two of Owlcrate. Unboxing a bajillion boxes in a row. So this should be the October box. October, find me in the forest. All right, so first thing I see two magnetic bookmarks and they are from Crafted Band Magnetic Bookmarks and they are where the wild things are. Don't ask me what their names are, it's like King something and I don't know, I don't remember. I haven't read that book since I was a small child. Then we have In the Wick of Time, Cape Swatter. I don't know if it's a candle. I don't know what Cape Swatter is. Mm. That's weird, it's like florally peppermint. Mm, I don't know. Oh, moss and mint. Mm, yeah, I got it. I'm pretty, pretty good with my schnoz. Then we have tea, yes. Riddles Tea Shop and Curiosities. A decaf tea blend, Sherwood Forest, Earl Grey, and Sweet Blueberry. Hmm, interesting. I don't really like blueberries, but in tea it might be okay. She like woke up and then went back to sleep. This one I'm just hoping it's not broken. Alcrate exclusive muck. The Forbidden Forest. It's not broken. Excellent. This one I believe when you put the hot water in it, it like does magic. I think it was this one. So how cute is that? Beautiful. I was really scared that it would be broken because I hadn't opened these boxes and then I wouldn't be able to get a new one. Luckily it's not. Then we have the pin. And we have, oh, a coaster. All good things are wild and free. Cute. I like that. Oh, she is pooping. If you hear any farts, that's her, not me. Then we have this print. I feel like I know this, but I don't know it. So it looks something like that. Ooh. Wild Beauty. This is like all feel, I feel it by Anna Marie McLemore, McLemore, but it's like feely, it's so pretty. The candle is from The Wake of Time and it's The Raven Cycle, um, Loose Leaf Tea, Real Tea Shop, and it's Robin Hood and His Merry Men through Sherwood Forest. Um, the mug is The Forbidden Forest from Harry Potter, it's by Al Crate, the artist Kara Kozik. Um, beautiful Coasters by Kristen Askland. Wild Things Magnetic Bookmarks are from Crafted Van. Um, Princess... Oh, Princess Monon... Mon... Own... Oki? Uh, art print by Audrey Auclair. I don't know what that is. Um, Welcome to La Pradera, a beautiful garden estate where the Nomeal Levides family has been capturing the imaginations of guests from around the world with their beautiful blooms. The women of his family, the women of his family have been cursed with the ability to grow stunning flowers wherever they desire. The cost, they can never leave the grounds of La Pradera, and if they fall in love too deeply, their lovers will vanish. Many generations of Nomeal Levides have tended to the gardens until one day a strange boy appears from the soil and leads them to question everything. Wild Beauty is a gorgeous, magical realism story all about family, loss, and love that has us tran transfixed from the first sentence. We hope that you also enjoy the handwritten letter signed book plate from author Anne -Marie, Anna Marie McLemore. Um, and well, as a super fun packet of seeds, you can grow your own magic. And then we'll do this. Oh, see? They have these like fun little. Oh. oh. Be quick, I'll just do the spoiler and then I gotta run away. Um, K 
Castle, Courts, and Kingdoms is a November theme, and Juniper and Ivy Designs is the spoiler. I will be back, folks. I might be wearing a baby next time I come back. Okay, I'm back to finish doing outfits, but I got little Violet here, so if she cries, she's been a bit cranky. She had her, I can't remember if I told you guys in the other video, she had her two month vaccines on two days ago, so she's, they're like kinda kicking in. And sorry, my chair's squeaking and I'm kinda gonna be rocking her, but this is gonna be the only way I'm gonna get any videos done. entertain her with things but the last couple days it's not big good. you're gonna be able to see her little birthmark right in her the back of her head and her little bald spots and then her long little mullet it's so cute but anyways we'll try to do some more of these I don't know if I should be like cutting with scissors near a baby but like you know we'll be careful if I can lift it Ooh, this one's heavy I almost can't get my arms around it. Okay. challenging. So every time she moves, be careful. Oh. Soothie's popping out. Oh no, not a Soothie popping out. Hey, little girl. I might just have to like wiggle like this, so it might be super distracting. But this is Owlcrate, Castles, Courts, and Kingdoms for November. Oh, you don't like that? We've read this cute book called Room on the Room. It's about a witch and there's a dragon in it and she hated when the dragon popped up. Oh no. is a tooth and it says expecto patron patron I can't even say that you know it's like the Harry Potter spell it's got lightning bolts and it's super cute and it's still winter here in Canada so like that'll be good and then I see some sort of pin I'll create exclusive it says squalors I think juniper and ivy designs when people say impossible there's like a thing there I can't read they something mean improbable I don't know I haven't read Libra or Dugo so I don't actually know what that is or which book it's from bad me then we have this cute little box here that's by spook friend something something I don't know I can't read those sometimes I have like a hard time with words Oh, I it's soap, I think. Oh, I know, little girl, I know. Goodness sakes. That darn soother keeps coming out, hey? Sorry, guys. It can be like, hashtag mom life. <laughs> hashtag. She's usually like super good, I promise. Not that you guys really care, you're not looking after her, but it's just those poor little needles made her not feel very good. Oh, I know, I know. You're gonna tell a big story, hey? You tell a big story. So we have, I think this is soap. Elven bread soap made exclusively for Alcrate by Fizzy Fairy Apoth Apothecary, which we had something just in one of the other ones. It just smells like, um, I don't know, like herbally, 
bright, refreshing combination of Moroccan mint, garden cucumber, juicy clementine, sick clement blossoms, lily, and cactus. Oh yeah. I can smell cucumbers. And it's like leaves, and I feel like maybe the leaves like unwrap or something. Or I could just be imagining that. Maybe I'm hoping that's what's going to happen and that's not what's going to happen. But who knows? Saw something squiggling around. Woohoo! Lip trap! Winter is here. And it's Blackberry Mint and it's by Geek Fire Labs. So it has like a little dire wolf on it, so that's wicked. Oh, I know, little girl. Did that sooty fall up again? Darn it, anyway. Here go, here go. I know. Poor little baby, goodness me. Then, ooh, this is pretty. Very pretty. Don't let the hard days win. And it's like a notebook and it's very nice. Purple is like my favorite color and it's just a lined notebook, but I like that it's like a coil of lined notebook because they're easier to write in. Okay, and then the book. Ooh, the glass spar, spare, spar. Lauren DeStefano. I love Lauren DeStefano. Exclusive out. Great cover. Looks something like this. And it's got all kinds of fun things on the back, like a signed book plate and a written note to us from the author and things like that. I love Wither. Oh. It's just great. Right, little girl? Do we love that book? All right, so what don't we know about? Cause, oh, the brooch. Join the second army by wearing a new brooch made exclusively by Juniper and Ivy Designs, inspired by Lee Bardugo's Grishaverse. We sent three different and equally beautiful designs. Which order of the Grisha are you? So, I don't know, Squallers, I think that's what I said. I don't know what that means. But let me know down below. Um, you'll be able to fend off Dementors in chilly days with his exclusive X. Expectro Patronum, I can't even say that, Beanie created by Alcrate, just for you. The Notebook is A Court of Mist and Fury by Stella's Bookish Arts. And then the book, Will is the only daughter of a power-hungry king, forced to live in the shadows as a spy for her kingdom. One day, when her life is put at risk, Will discovers she has the ability to turn living things to gemstones with just a touch. Cool. When this newfound power causes tragedy to occur, Will flees her home in search of answers and a cure. She ends up finding more than she bargained for when she meets a cursed prince from an enemy kingdom. The Glass Spare Spar is a beautiful fantasy story all about bonds, family, and where your loyalty lies. We also hope you enjoy the signed book plate and letter from author Lauren DiStefano, uh, as well as exclusive gemstone tattoos. Did I show you guys this? It looks like that. Ooh, this is hard to maneuver. And then we have this nice little booklet, which again, like I'll read on my own time because you know, it just is a little booklet. It's got some fun things about all the peeps. And it tells you like the difference of the cover. So the owl crate cover has like purple writing around or like fire around the writing and the regular just has like a blue fire. So that's fun. Ooh. And then spoiler card. Just like stacking up boxes. So the theme of December box is seize the day. That's fun. And then you'll receive an exclusive item from Bookware and Boutique. And if you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically renew. Well, I knew that. I honestly have been with Alcrate since the very beginning. I've been with them since box number uno. And I canceled all of my subscriptions, but I just couldn't leave Alcrate. And because um, they're Canadian, even though they ship from the stage, which is silly to me because I'm in Canada. But yeah, so I'll be with them forever. And I can't wait to get her Owl Crate Junior when she's old enough, but she's not quite old enough yet. I'll be, because she's just a little baby. Alrighty. We'll try to get the next box without making her mad. So this will be December. December 2017. I'm not gonna like lift it up 
to show you because that'll be too difficult. So it looks a little something like this. Cute. Like a little girl walking down the street with her little dog and a coffee and it looks a little bit chilly. So, the first thing... Oh wait, what's the theme? Seize the day. Right, I already forgot. We have a candle from Novel Yours, The Dreaming Tree. And it says, harvest apple and night. I don't know what that means, but I'll smell it and I'll let you know. Mmm, it smells like apple pie. It's got sparklies on the top. Yeah, it's like apples and cinnamon. Oh, it doesn't tell you. I thought maybe it would tell me on the bottom, but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a big old magnet. If my life is going to mean anything, I'll have to live it myself. Rick Riordan looks like this. It's like under the sea. Get it? Because like, probably like Poseidon, because it has his little trident. Trident? Trident? I don't know how to say that. But you know what I mean. Oh, this one's fun. I think this is a giant ass bookmark. Or no, maybe it's a oh, for your tree. It's a decoration ornament. Love is everything, everything. Alcrate 2017. Cute. They should do little ornaments every year. Life is a gift. Don't forget to live it. Nicola Yoon, Juniper and Ivy Designs. Cool. Then my tree could be filled with like bookish bookmark or bookish Christmas decorations, ornaments, whatever. What, what have you? Then I see a big old tote bag, I think. Big old tote bag, and it's a pretty blue color. And it looks a little something like Harry Potter. Yeah, and it says, Don't Let the Muggles Get You Down by Ron Weasley. Yep, cute. I wonder if they were all the same, or if there was like different, like Ron, Harry, and Hermione. That'd be cool. Alrighty. I'm not like really, I'm not throwing them on the ground. There's a desk right there with everything on it. I just can't move. Um, if you're going to live, you might as well do painful, brave, and beautiful things. The Serpent King, Jeff Zetner, which I feel like, do we get that in one of these boxes? I think so. Um, and in that moment, I swear we were infinite. The Perks of Being a Wildflower by Steven Chbosky. One time, well, I read that book, but one time I won from Chapters, which is like Chapters Indigo, which is like the Canadian Barnes and Noble equivalent. I won like a movie screening and I got to go see The Perks Being Wallflower before it was even out, so that was cool. Um, Lucky in Love, a novel by Casey West. I feel like, is that what's in here? Maybe. So we got that little bookmark and, or a swag piece, depends. Okay, okay, what is this? What are you? This looks fun. It's like a little crazy owl book, book thing. Woohoo! May your coming year be filled with magic and dreams and good madness. I hope you read some fine books and kiss someone who thinks you're wonderful and don't forget to make some art. Write or draw or build or sing or live only as you can. And I hope somewhere in the next year you surprise yourself. Neil Gaiman. Aw, it's like a cute. It's a planner. Hopefully it's like not just a 2017 planner. See how. Oh good, it's like a blank one. It's just like month. So let's look. It says the month. So then you fill out your month. And then the book log and book notes. I'm not sure if any of you guys probably can't see any of that. And book log and book notes and the month. Cool. And then there's like a weekly planner at the back. Cute. And then I can use that like and reading list. So it's like schedule to do reading list notes. Can you see that pick up? That looks a little bit better. And then I can use that nice fountain pen that I got. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, I can. Alright. I feel like. Did I find the panel already? Oh, no. I heard it. There it is. It's just like. Ah! That's the girl and like a smidgen of her dog and her drinking her little coffee on her little walk. Ooh, this one like looks like it's like texture too. Oh, it does have. The writing is textured. Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. So pretty. And then, oh my goodness, little girl. Oh my goodness gracious. I'll tell you what it's about in a minute, but it looks a little something like this. Has the book plate. Oh no, I just threw that on the ground. Uh oh, don't hit your head. Oh no. Oh, that 
darn sucky fell yeah. out again, hey? Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness, man. That sucky would just stay in. Okay, so, yes, it is a wooden ornament by Juniper and Ivy Designs, the candle, the name they gave us by Emery Lord, I don't think I've heard of that. It's by Novel Yours, double-sided bookmark, little inkling designs, um, the magnet is by Ink and Wonder Designs, the tote bag is from Bookworm Boutique, planner and reading journal is from Alcrate and Blue Star Press. And then the book, when Claudia is caught eavesdropping on a conversation she was never meant to hear, she gains a new enemy in Iris, one of the meanest girls in her hot school. She doesn't think things can get any worse, but then both her and Iris are forced to participate in the school's production of a Midsummer's Night, Midsummer Night's Dream. Foolish Hearts is a laugh-out-loud story about first love, finding friends in the most unlikely of places, and stepping outside your comfort zone. This book will definitely give you warm, fuzzy feelings. We also hope you enjoy the special exclusive cover, signed book plate, and letter from author Emma, Emma Mills, and the super cool embroidered patch. Which I did see that. Goodness me, I don't know. What's going on here? I feel like she's sitting in like a weird position a little bit. Oops, I'm getting worms everywhere. And then we have the book. Let's see what's different about the owl crate one. Ooh, regular is like purple and blue and owl crate is green. So it looks a little something like that. And then spoiler card. Fearsome fairy tales for January. And then in the January box you'll receive an exclusive item from Spireside Candles. Okay. Sorry, I gotta do a little bit of a jig with her. Do, 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 do. And try to pick up another box off the ground. Without breaking anything. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got it. We got it. We're good for a minute. These are gonna be like the longest videos of my life. Don't mind. Alright, ooh, this one's scary. Oh, great. It's got like a freaking white, the White Walker King. That's who it looks like. Fearsome fairy tales. Alright, the first thing that I see is this little box. Ooh, I remember what this is. It says, The world is full of magic things, patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. WB Yeats. This is a wax burner exclusively for Alcrate. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Ooh, it's like marbled. Neat. And it's got like moons and stars taken out of it. Gotta do a little jig. Do a little jig to keep her happy. Then the pin has like the scary queen lady on it. I don't know who she is. Ooh, and then we got wax melts to go back. Spire side candles, Hansel and Gretel, made in Charleston. Mmm, -hmm. I don't know what scent. Well, it's supposed to be Hansel and Gretel, but it friggin' smells like delicious Christmas and ginger. Oh, mmm. -hmm. I don't know, but it smells friggin' delicious. And then we have this bracelet that says, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. I think it's a bracelet. It might be a choker. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. And then we have this thing, which I want to say is like a pillowcase. I feel like it's a pillowcase. Is that what it is? Yes, it is a pillowcase. Once upon a dream. Can you see that? And then we have a print, which is like a red riding hood and a big scary wolf. And then, well, itchy nose. Then the book, if I can get it out. Ooh, the 
Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And this is an exclusive cover. And this looks freaking wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Alright, now let's read what they're about. Alright. Hansel and Gretel, you'll fall victim to the old witch. Um, wax smells by Spireside Candles with the ceramic burner, wax burner from Alcrate. Um, the bracelet is from Authored Adornments. A quote from Rapunzel is on it. Um, and you can move the little charm around so it could be on, slide on and off like a charm bracelet. You'll be happy to fall the endless slumber with your new pillowcase by Stella's Bookish Art. And then the print is by Anne Lamberlet, is a little red riding hood, obviously. And then the cruel prince. When Jude is young, her parents are murdered and she is taken away to the realm of fairies. As she comes of age, she struggles to find her place in the world of the Fae and among peers who hate her. She is bullied relentlessly by Prince Cardin, the youngest and most ruthless son of the High King. When Jude is offered a chance at making it into the High Court, she'll have to risk everything and defy Prince Cardin in a way she never imagined. Thus begins the dangerous journey filled with political intrigue, deception, and bloodshed. The Crow Prince is a lush and intricate story with the most flawed yet wonderfully written characters. We hope you love this Alcrete edition of the book, which features, features an exclusive cover and signature from Holly Black. We've also included a letter from Holly as well as an exclusive sticker. Ooh. I also really like Holly Black. I like her Teeth series. And then we have the other like little booklet that will tell us about the exclusive cover. Ooh, so the regular one is white and then ours is the purple one. So that's fun. I actually quite like both covers to be honest with you. But it's really neat that Algrate can like do that and get exclusive covers. It's really awesome. It just shows how far they've come and how special we are and to them too. All right, and then the theme of the February box is Hidden Worlds. And we get, you'll receive an extra large and exclusive item from Evie Bookish. We've never included it before. Psst, it's not a mug. Maybe it's like, because if it's not a mug, what if it's a cute little, um, a teacup? Wouldn't that be cool? All right, I gotta, like, Bear with me, I gotta reach down and get this puppy I should probably stand and then bend down so I don't crush her. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, there. This is the last one, you guys, and then we're caught up. Then we're caught up. So that's exciting. card because there's all the little family animals living under the ground cute hidden worlds okay we got the pin it's got a big old owl on it we have another candle here it's books on candles through the wardrobe this is weird it's like citrusy but like Trees, kind of. Oh, we have another velvet satchel, but this one has Alcrate on it. I hate velvet so much. Oh, it's like a key necklace, but it's like black. You guys probably can't see it. I can't get close enough for you right at this moment. But trust me, it's like a skeleton key. Probably a key to hidden worlds. Oh, see what I did there? Ooh, then we have a fun little bag. We dream together of the world remade. I was like, the world remod? What world is that? Silly me. Okay. Oh well, yes, whatever this is. It is quite large. Maybe it's a blanket. No, it doesn't feel like a blanket. Curtains. Oh my god. I don't know what this is. And it's huge. Oh, it's like a tablecloth, I think. It 
pieces. Fall open, fall in, oh, it's got like Alice. Okay. Fall open, fall in, I think. This is a big old Alice thing. Can you see it? Falling down the rabbit hole. I hope you could kind of see that. Because that is quite large. Oops, I just blew something off the table. And then the book. Ooh, The Hazelwood, a novel. Melissa Albert. This is the exclusive cover. It looks like this. It's got some fun, like, golden, what's it called? Uh, gilded stickers. So they're like shiny and black, or shiny, silver and gold. Alright, ooh, what's this? I missed. Oh, this is cute. It's a sticker. And it's Alice and the White Rabbit. Cute. Okay, so we have Skeleton Key Pendant Necklace by Team Owlcrate, Soy Candle, it's entered the magical woods of Narnia and it is pine, mint, and vanilla. It smells like a forest in winter. Books on candles by Vivio. I don't know how. Viv. Yo. Okay. Um, store your souvenirs in many different jerseys in the zipper pouch. This is by Rissa Rodil. Um, the sticker is Alice in the White Rabbit, designed by Naomi Lord. Um, wall tapestry. Oh, it could be a tablecloth though too, but that's cool. Wall tapestry um, by Evie Bookish. All right, so the book. Alice and her mother have always been on the run, trying to escape the never-ending bad luck that seems to follow them at every turn. When Alice's grandmother, the author of beloved collection of sinister fairy tales, passes away, passes away on her estate, the Hazel Wood. Life goes from bad to worse. Alice's mother is kidnapped by one of the characters from her grandmother's stories. Alice will have to team up with Elvery Finch, who happens to be a huge fan of her grandmother's book and may have ulterior motives in helping her, and journey to the Hazelwood in hopes of saving her mother. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert is a twisted and beautiful story that explores the dark side of fairy tales like never before. We hope you love the signed exclusive hardcover edition as well as a letter from Melissa, an exclusive sticker sheet. Then we have the little booklet. I just want to see the covers. All right. So actually, this one I kind of like the original one better because it's black with gold, and the one we have is green. Green's like not one of my favorite colors, but that's all right. Unless it's like olive, olive green. And then the theme for next month is across the galaxy. And the sneak peek is a candle from Wick and Fable. I feel like we get like a butt ton of candles. I haven't actually like burned even any of the candles that we've gotten, but you know, they're fun. Um, yeah, so thanks guys for watching these super long videos and thanks for bearing with me as I like fell off the face of the earth and came back um, with a baby. Weird, it just happened. Um, yeah, so let me know if you guys get all create, which box is your favorite, if you've read any of these books, what little swaggy was your favorite. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye!